we are live here at Sweat, where people are sweating up a storm. Just take a look around here. So a lot of people working out this morning. We have Wendy here. We have a success story. Over 100 pounds you lost. And how, how long did it take you? It took me six months to actually lose the weight. And I've kept it off now for a year no, and a half. Don't take this off. we got to really see like okay. how big. Now, you used are. to wear something like this, right? This is what I would wear. This is what I would wear daily to cover anything up I could possibly cover up. And it's just... <laughs> gigantic Just on small. you right now. Now, if someone's at home, sitting at home right now, maybe they feel like they're overweight and they feel like they're so overweight they don't even know where to get started. How was it for you to overcome that and what would you tell them at home? Of course, there's procrastination. Everybody has that. But just a call to get you going, really, it, it, it makes the energy flow. And once you get here, it's so easy. The weight comes off. It's just so easy to get it off. Keep going. Keep motivated. The trainers get you motivated going. And uh, the group effort is just phenomenal here. And so that was your um, after picture that we saw there. So looking good, we're going to bring in Josh right now, who's the owner and trainer. And he's going to explain, uh, you know, what you had to do to really get going there. You know, really first it starts with diet. It starts with diet and it starts owning up with what you've been doing and how we're going to change. And people have to really be accountable to what they're doing. And once we get the diet straight and we really get on track with saying, hey, we need to keep your calories low, we need to start making some big time changes, then we get into the exercise program and that's when the magic happens. So once again, that is the before shot there of Wendy oh. and that is the after. So hard work does pay off. We also have Michael here. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Morning. All right. How much weight have you lost? Let me, let me have you come out here. I know you like working out, obviously. So we'll have a before picture of you as well. What made you finally want to change? Uh, you know, it was a new chapter in my life, started a new job after 13 years and, you know, I was 225 pounds and, you know, I have a three-year-old, I want to be here there for her and her children, so it's just something, a lifestyle that I need to make it to change and I lost over 45 pounds. And you lost over 45 pounds, so that's the before there and we can clearly see your after, so how has the response been for you? Uh, pretty dramatic. My wife's, uh, you know, she's a little more amorous towards me lately. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's it, it's good for the ego. But it's you know, for me, it's it's good mentally, physically, psychologically. It's just been great. A lot of energy all day, and uh, play with my child. And you know, I, I travel a lot, so it's it just helps with you know, just want to live a healthy lifestyle. So all right, let's take a look at your seven-day forecast for today. We will see a high of 102 degrees today, and then tomorrow similar temperatures. But we do have some slight changes on the way. We will start to see temperatures get down into the 90s. So people working out very hard here. Wendy has her shirt. We're going to stop you, Wendy, because you want to donate this to our charitable cause over there, which we are collecting for today. So we'll have you go over there. We are seeing a bunch of those clothes right there. We are going to have a clothing drive. It's for Save the Family, so we will be talking. Doesn't that feel good? We've had everyone donate the clothes that they can't wear anymore. So you can, if you live in the Anthem area, even if you have some clothes you don't want, you can go ahead and bring it down here to sweat in Anthem right off of Anthem Way. Tess? All right. Thank you very much, Brittany. We'll see you in a bit once again.